Okay. Been a while since I put any videos out on this. We've been socked with snow here and everything else, so I've just been just thrashing to get everything done. I just put the cooler in now, the auxiliary cooler. Um, I had to fix the A-frame. I broke that. Um, I got the tires on. Let's see if I can... That's a big dark hole. Where did I put the flashlight? Um, I said I've been just thrashed and I haven't had much time to do videos and I really sorry if you guys are following and trying to keep up on everything. I got the spacer kit. Can you see it there now? There's actually four of them but I only put three in. Um, I had to go through and tighten everything yet. Or retighten everything, I should say. Um, got tires on. I got a hodgepodge mirror on here for now. I'm trying to find another one. Haven't got the radio in yet. Haven't really tidied up any wires. I'll uh, do an install on radio maybe or whatever but it is together i do have it running and working and it's just like i said we've been socked here back to back with storms and if it ain't storming it's <coughs> wind is blowing it is working good i'm gonna take the gopro with me tonight here i'll maybe video some snowing out and i'll see what snow plowing i'll see what happens we're uh getting it again it's like i said been just back to back here so if it ain't snowing it's blowing and we've been fighting it i'm gonna put the grill in here i won't record that because that's pretty cut forward simple simple deal but uh here's my snow plow plug-ins but that is my auxiliary cooler and then I got the liquid liquid cooler up here, like I said for you guys. If you're wondering about that vice grip, this thing was dropping its fuel and driving me totally bonkers. Or batshit crazy, whichever. The only thing that was different between this and another pickup was that return line on there. So I pinched it off. Ever since I pinched it off, it hasn't been dropping its fuel. I'm just going to eliminate it. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can comment and tell me what the purpose is of having an a air bleed on the fuel filter, but I don't see no reason for it. And I guess if I'm going to do anything, I, I could always op take the plug out and unplug the pump and spin it over and until fuel comes out if I change filter. But I've never had no troubles changing filters on either another one. Filled the filter full and it's always took off and went. So, yeah, well, I'm going to get busy here because, like I said, I'm going to put the bumper in, or bumper, <laughs> grill in, and then I got to go out and plow snow. So, I've been pretty much so thrashing here just to try to get this done today. Had a bunch of stuff going on. So, between fixing the plow and everything else. So, but, uh, God bless you all. Keep the greasy side down and stay safe.